Plus is now the exclusive home of PGA Tour Live. That means 35 tournaments a year. Porque mucha gente no puede ser la verdad realmente impecable la ética. Okay. Ante adelante hay otros peleas grandes como Benavides. ¿Cómo cómo piensas un un pelea con contigo con Benavides porque Benavides sigue adelante adelante por no, poner no, pressure? Sería una pelea super espectacular a la a la a la afición le encantaría. Tanto mexicano como cubano, tanto como todos los latinos de otros países, por ejemplo, like, me encantaría porque, en serio, <coughs> pero ahí para mí es reinado uno también de los mejores luchadores que hay como asistí ahí. Eh, Súper, fue campeón. Um, eh, o sea, tiene, tiene un boxeo la verdad, realmente impecable. Like, sería una pelea súper, súper que se la verdad. Porque mucha gente no sabe. Let me let me ask you. Um, so David Morrell fought tonight in the main event. How do you see David Morrell? His performance, or what do you think? I always said David Morrell is a good fighter. You know, he's Olympian and he is getting better and better. Uh, that's a, a fight that it might happen with, uh, with David Morrell. I would love to, to fight him. You know, he, he, that would be an, an honor for us to fight uh, David Morrell. Uh, but we just have to wait until he uh, gets a little bit more fights and. Maybe it's maybe four, five, five more, you know, I think it's going to be mentioned a lot. Uh, he has to do good, he has to stay focused. And If I is it stupid of us boxing fans to believe that a possible fight with Andre Demetrius Andre and Benavidez is possible, being as though one is with the zone and the other is obviously aligned with PBC? Because David Benavidez said he would be willing to fight Demetrius Andre, who obviously can't get a fight with anyone. And obviously, that would be the biggest win on David Benavidez's resume if he were able to beat the two-time, two-division champion, Demetrius Andre. Well, uh, let me put it this way. I'm not aware of the conversations. I'm aware of what he say, But knowing David Benavidez, he's not afraid to anyone, like many of the boxers. And... Uh, if he say that, I imagine that uh, is to prove that he will fight anyone, regardless how unlikely is to the people see <laughs> this guy. You know what I mean? But 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 you think it's possible, or or obviously with with Benavides fighting for Showtime and and PBC, a fight with Andre right now is not in the cards. Well, let me put it this way. I am an exclusive promoter of uh, Benavides. I will tell you the fight, it could happen. But in this case, the money needs to be right. But it could happen. So it's not a case of you, because I know you've said on this show in the past that you know you have a relationship with Al Heyman, you know, like Javier Fortuna was a PBC guy, but, but you thought that it, you know Javier would be able to go to the zone. So are you saying that if you have the right conversations, David Benavides can fight on the zone, or does the Andre fight have to happen on Showtime or PBC? It, it can be either way, 
but the money it need to be superior much more than to fight Canelo. It has to be more than fighting Canelo. That's correct. Okay, so there was a rumored offer from Eddie Hearn to Jamal Charlo to face Andre once upon a time for an un, uh, unified fight at $7 million. Does that sound right to you? you need to be much more than that. More than $7 million to fight Andre? Yes, because it's not an easy fight. He's a great fighter that whoever he wants to put that fight that most likely is not so attractive. That one need to be for the money. But damn, and, set and more than seven million dollars to talk about it. Wouldn't that be a career high payday for David? Has he ever been paid seven million? Never. So, are you pricing yourself out in the eyes of the media and Eddie Hearn? No, because this is what he deserved when he fight a guy that doesn't bring. You say this is what he deserves when he fights a guy that doesn't bring what? Nothing to the table. Oh, mm -hmm. but Andre is a two-time champion, two divisions. How does he bring anything to the table? People doesn't pay to see him. Okay. So just just to be clear, he would need to make more. David, that is, he would need to make more in a Andre fight. Andre fight than he would in a Canelo fight. Mm hmm. That is correct, because Canelo, he mean a lot for David. And Andre is another fight that maybe he, will, he would win, but he will not look good. Mm. So you're saying, so do you feel that Andre gives Benavidez more problems than Canelo, or why wouldn't he look good? Uh, it will beat but it will not look good because it's the, the the style make the fight and it's not the right style for anybody doesn't mean that everybody is afraid of him it will look winning or losing it will look bad all right guys so you pretty much heard it from the horse's mouth right there um and again, you know, you see why I go so hard for uh, Boo Boo Andrade on this on this platform. You know, yeah, I mean, of course, the the I mean, one of the main reasons is he's from the home turf, you know, day one uh, from Brava, you know, and he was just there as a matter of fact, promoting sports and things like that. And now I think. He's in Dubai right now, um, promoting some, doing some things in Dubai as we speak, uh, uh, representing uh, Cabo Verde in Dubai. So um, now with this being said uh, and hearing from Team Benavides that like how they feel about certain fighters in about certain situations on one note you give them the benefit of the doubt you say okay well um i guess this guy you know it feels entitled to this insane amount of money right but on the on the same on the same note the 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 basic actions that he is talking about they kind of no we'll put it this way um his actions are not aligning up to uh you know his his the, the actions aren't or the words aren't lining up to the actions because you do have a case where you had um him say that i'll fight anybody you know i'll you know bounce back even if i lose you know you have that you have him saying that but you listen to david benavidez's father 
and you hear him say that he will fight David Morrell four or five fights down the line and that he has to look good. But isn't that reverse of logic? Because don't you fight some, wouldn't you want to fight someone more if they look like trash? Like, wouldn't you want to do that more? Wouldn't you be like, hey, now we can get him. Hey, he's looking vulnerable. Let's do it. You know, wouldn't you want to do that then? Like, instead of wait until he's at his full, his full potential and his full, um, his full powers. Wouldn't you want to get someone when they look bad? But it appears it it appears like this is not part of um, the Benavides's plans. You know what I mean? Uh, and so now what we have to look at, right? We have to look at. Um, the fact that they actually want more. They, they they actually want more to fight Demetrius Andre than they would want to fight Canelo. You know what I mean? So would it, so the way I have to look at this is, is is in this way because you heard it from the horse's mouth. He said that David Benavidez would beat Demetrius Andre, but he would look bad doing it. But you know, I beg to differ. You know, what I mean, I, I really beg to differ in, in regards to that. But um, with this being said, you can do nothing but respect, only give nothing but respect to Demetrius Andre. Because he has these dudes spooked. OK. Um, now, of course, like in in. And unfortunately, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to try to create new boo-boo fans. That's not my job. Like, it's not my job to, like, create, like, fans of boo-boo. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I, you know, that's not something that I do, right? So, with that being said, um, I want to say that... Um, Mexicans uh, will say that, oh, he's chinny. Oh, he got dropped by such and such. Oh, he got hurt by such and such. Oh, he ducked this, that, and the other. They'll say all these things, right? They'll say all these things. They'll say, they, they'll always say that. They'll always bring up these talking points, right? Um, They'll agree with Canelo and say he's a horrible fighter and everything like that. But none of their guys are in a hurry to get in there and dance with him you know they'll say he's a sloppy fighter and stuff like that not realizing that he fights in different styles he doesn't fight one way you know what i mean if you look at for example the walter cox and Dakwa fight he fought behind the jab fast combinations if you look at the akabal fight the fight after it he fought behind the, uh, a jab in um, combinations if you look at the Soleki fight he fought off of looping punches and uh, counter punching ability and also keeping his hands down and also at times switching to orthodox as well right you look at his last fight with uh, Jason Quigley he just times him with those looping shots with those haymakers he times you pretty good with those. It's very difficult to do, though. It's not easy. You know, it's not easy to do what he does, right? So when you see these things, right, and you 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 see that, hey, you know, the, nobody wants to work with him, you have to ask yourself, like, okay, well, is he really a horrible fighter? Or is he just... Is he just basically the wrong complexion? You know what I mean? I, I hate to bring this into it, but, you know, even like, even with this Shakur Oscar Valdez fight, like, you know, 
I'm gonna be real with you. If Shakur Stevenson was a cheater, I wouldn't be able to support him. You know, I, I would have to like cancel my support for Shakur. You know, and if 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 the shoe was on the other foot and Oscar Valdez was the clean fighter and Shakur was the dirty fighter, I would have to go for Oscar Valdez. You know, off the strength that this dude is doing it the clean way. And so, yeah. But be it as it may, it's not like that. You know what I mean? Be it as it may, it's not, it's not in that situation, right? So with that being said, um, we have to just, just assess the situation for what it is. And, um, yeah, man, uh, they, they don't want that work, bro. They do not want that work. Because I I would think that, hey, you know, even like having a fight with Andre for three million would be some pretty cool money, would be a career high payday. You know, I would think so. But um but yeah, bro, uh you, you see what it is. I really don't need to say much else except for I guess what's gonna happen now is uh Demetrius Andre he's gonna um he's going to probably go the interim route in which they said that um they said that um he he said that uh or or the guy he was gonna fight Zach Parker said that he that Demetrius Andre was actually afraid to fight him. But I think uh, Demetrius Andre is going to fight him. You have to understand something uh, with these UK level guys. A lot of these UK level guys, as I said before, when they get in there with an American dude, it's a different story. Or when they get in there with just like a non-domestic dude, most of the times it's a different story. Most of the times. I'm not saying all the time. We saw the whole thing that happened with John Ryder, you know, and Daniel Jacobs. But I mean, even pe many people say that was a robbery. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. You have Tyson Fury, who did very good against Deontay Wilder. But most of the time when these, as I say, when these, these, uh, th with, when they when these uk guys actually fight real live dudes from different places it becomes a different ball game you know what i mean they no longer they they're no longer in just the realm of like domestic uh uh fanfare they're in the realm of like you fighting someone real yeah i mean i'm gonna be real with you um even you look at the past UK guys that they were praising so much and you look at um, like the present UK guys that they're praising like Conor Ben and stuff like that. And he's just following along his father's footsteps. I mean, James Tony, James Tony violated both Chris Eubanks and violated um, Nigel Ben at the same time. He violated them at the same time, but none of them wanted that work with James Tony. You know, at all. None, none of them wanted that 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 smoke with James Tony. So it, it, I mean, it's the same thing here too. Uh, Connor Ben don't want no smoke with no um, Jerron Ennis, and Jerron Ennis will fight him right now. You know. And so, with that being said, uh, yeah, man, you just hear, you know, what's happening, and you understand that the 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 actions don't align with the words you know so i and i'm gonna end on this note i mean david benavidez is fighting david lemieux next who is a under who by no means is just going to be a bloated up 168 and at this point honestly the way it's looking and stuff like that he needs to just move from 168 and go to 175. That should be the, the logical thing to do. But he's struggling to make this weight, thinking that, you know, something good is going to come out of it. 
and he's going to be holding his breath for a Canelo fight. Because Canelo is going to fight more or less so, even if the network doesn't want to pick it up. Being that he's a, um icon in Mexico, he can fight... Um, he can fight uh, T'Challa in Baku in Mexico and he'll still have a lot of fans. But with that being said, um, that's all I got for now, guys. Um, Fool is signing out. Let me know what y'all think about the comments of from Team Benavidez that they need more money in order to fight um, Canelo. Or I mean, uh, Boo Boo. Fool is signing out. Good job, Lama.